All right, uh, <clears throat> Ultra Fit Runner here, and uh, <clears throat> let me just turn this light off or turn that on. Um, it's a little bright, huh? There we go, that's better. Um, <clears throat> get off from work, it's late. <clears throat> Excuse me, or early. Um, I know I'm into raw foods, but ooh, yeah, I've been uh, I've been eating some of the cooked foods, like vegan pizzas and things like that. So, like I said, I'm not perfect. But what I wanted to talk to you about real quick is that um, for those of you that aren't 100% raw or do like to use the oven or sometimes use it as a dehydrator, you know, put it in a low temperature and have the oven out. That really works well sometimes if you, your dehydrators can be expensive. Uh, that's a way to put the temperature, I think at the lowest for, for my oven is 170 and have it on for 20 or 30 minutes, but have the oven door open. <coughs> Excuse me, but what I wanted to talk about real quick is I turned my oven on, it's a Whirlpool, and uh, um, the display was all funky. Now the stove top worked, but the oven didn't. So there's three things you can do. Don't call a repairman. First thing that you want to do is turn your oven off and turn it back on. That doesn't work, then you still get the same light display where you're not showing anything but just a bunch of, you know, when it's trying to show numbers, but it's all squiggly and everything. The display is like all screwed up and nothing's happening. Go to your main breaker and then turn turn your oven to switch on and wait a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and then turn it back. I mean, turn it off and then turn it back on. <clears throat> it's kind of late or early, so I'm a little tired. But if that doesn't work, this is the last thing um, you do. You take your oven and you pull it out. Now, it sounds like, oh, I don't want to do that. It's a big job, but really, it's not that hard. Just be careful. Um, I'm in an apartment, but just pull your oven out real slowly, real carefully, and look in the back and see that there's a huge plug, like a three-pronged plug, and see if it's in all the way. Um, if it looks like it's in all the way, pull out your oven far enough so you can get back there. Of course, turn the power off on your main breaker before you do this. Um, and what you want to do is just push the plug all the way in to make sure it's all the way in. Because what happened is my plug was, was in, but it was hanging out a little bit. And I guess over time, they can get loose or whatever. So I pushed it all the way in. And then before I pushed the oven in, I, I went to the main breaker and turned it back on. And lo and behold, the oven worked. So I slid it back in. It took me five minutes at that. Um, quick, easy, and uh, a quick fix. So before you call somebody, do those three things. Check and turn your oven on and off. It doesn't work. Turn the circuit breaker on and off if it doesn't work. And turn the circuit breaker off and then pull out the oven and check the plug. And if the plug's a little loose, just push it in and uh, turn the circuit breaker on. And if the oven's on, it's fixed. Hope this helps out. Try to make it quick as possible. Went a little over. I wanted to make like a two-minute video, but it's a little three three thirty, I guess. But anyway, uh, always Ultra Fit Runner. Always going to have uh, some tips on other things besides running. And uh, I hope this helps. And uh, I'll be posting this shortly. And uh, leave your comments below. Thanks.